Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee. Today is the summer solstice of uh, the year. It's the longest day. Uh, after supper, we are going to do some uh, painting, enjoy my backyard. Uh, while you hear the background uh, with kids playing in the park. Um, we have some uh, Chinese uh, uh, squash or sponge cucumber here in my backyard. Uh, you can see, let's take a look of the sponge cucumber. Um, they're very delicious uh, vegetable. So we saved it for this uh, painting before we uh, cook it. So it's a very uh, similar technique that you will learn to paint uh, grape wine. It's the same technique. We start from the E, uh, start from the leaves. <coughs> so I use a soft brush uh, with a little bit of ink diluted uh, while my brush peel is still uh, blank, I mean clear. I, I use a little dark to the tip of the brush. So I start from the uh, center of the big leaf. You can see there's big notches, five sections. Uh, you can do one. Two, three on one side, then uh, the other side. So five, very uh, tech, very uh, typical. But in a different view, it could be just a half. Um, so you can do a cluster of uh, several leaves until this uh, load is. Uh, Finished, I reload it the same way with some water. And this time a little um, heavier ink because this is a large painting. So I want to add a dark leaf. I'm looking for a leaf that's side view. I think I found it. So it will be just three basically. A little bit on the other side. And do another old leaf. Don't have to uh, be very realistic. More important with the calligraphy strokes. So I cannot lay out the composition of the leaves. You can do some uh, on the top. Moved in, so they create a cluster. Another common. This could be a, a back view, uh, so it's lighter. Let me add some uh, fruits or the uh, cucumber, sponge cucumber. I use uh, indigo plus uh, yellow. By the way, the yellow is as good uh, also for the flower. So we need we need to save some pure yellow there. So we use uh, indigo, indigo and the yellow get uh, green color. And I also have some uh, leftover mineral green here. It's a uh, opaque color. So. Um, I blend into the, uh, the green mix, so we, we create some kind of uh, uh, semi-opaque color. It's a very nice color. And I can pick up a little more uh, blue and the gray, and the yellow to get some brighter green here on the tip. This is uh, darker. Uh, I would do this main Squash here. I think maybe it's heavy, so I will do right here. We can do some uh, behind the leaf. We use a paper weight. By the way, we have this uh, new product. It's made of uh, uh, magnetic, uh, very 
very strong magnetic, so you can hold the paper from wind. To we used to have this uh, like this bell metal, but we uh, now have a plastic handle. I uh, used to use this uh, cloth to wrap it for convenience. You can put them to hold the wind. You can also hold the felt. That's the beauty of this uh, paperweight. And uh, I draw this uh, squash in two strokes. It's a very long uh, shape, but uh, don't make it too thin or too fat. It has to be right. It's a little fatter, uh, bigger in the, near the bottom. And I make another one. Maybe a different uh, uh, growing stage, a smaller one. Um, they sometimes give uh, distort in the shape. It's nicer to catch those. Not a regular shape, but it's a little more interesting, like a gold. It's a big, bigger bottom. So there's a variation. And we have some small ones. And the, the small one, uh, yeah, even the big one, you know, uh, uh, still have this uh, flower I'm going to do on the, on the front. And uh, the stamp is, uh, you can use a little ink. So maybe that. It's a pretty long stamp. Now we start actually to do the vine. So I'm using um, a, a new Zhang uh, Daqin ox ear hair brush, all functional killer brush. And uh, I'm going to add this uh, uh, vine, it's behind the, the leaves here and there. Well, the, the vine is not as thick as uh, pumpkins or grape, so you need to keep in mind. Uh, you can um, have fun with this part, it's more kind of free. Um, and the tendril part is uh, more interesting you do a tendril here. They're coming in sections, so like that. Have some loops like that. Could be a free. Make sure the uh, where's the starting. We can have the starting here and go out and come in. So we can have this uh, cut. Uh, it goes through this way. So this is the, the root, I think. It's a diagonal composition. Small leaves. And 
the, before the uh, ink gets dry, you need to add the veins. Go with the five section, but you don't have to do all five in the secondary veins. The middle vein of each section is heavier. This is a side view. Even you cannot see them, it will show after it dries. So you need to all this dark part also. to the flowers. There are uh, five petals uh, on each flower. To do that is with the Game Boy to yellow. Uh, and you can add a little remaining flowers on the end of the squash. The cucumber first. And then uh, some uh, fresh flowers. I think they are male flowers. Um, they grow uh, separately from the the male, uh, the female. So uh, let's do this. Usually the bloom in the in the morning. The new flower come up. On this, on this cucumber, on this sponge cucumber. We use uh, a gray, green gray, you can dilute the ink by adding water and uh, dry the brush, they're not too wet. Get some green in it. So you start from uh, uh, the tip at the end, connect these two points to these parallel lines. They don't have to be are solid, so some parts you may just uh, void. The idea complete is the absence of stroke. You 
can go either from top down or from bottom up. Not completely parallel, it goes uh, according to the shape of the sponge. Here again. Maybe uh, five lines, let's say, just suggestively. Decision. Try to ensure that she was a signature. Tight some part. I uh, look at the negative space. You can use a uh, uh, little bit of uh, white dot the center. I, I just use some green, suggestively. Uh, you can also do the veins on the flowers with white, uh, or use some uh, gray. Uh, let me see what I have. Use pure yellow with a little bit uh, ink, maybe a little darker. some natural things from this. Find white stroke. That's really good. So not uh, too much detail. It's a freestyle, a spontaneous style. Summer Sotis of uh, the, the year of a horse.
taste of summer. Uh, summer sauces. There's the time and title. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, and uh, happy summer, everybody. Happy painting. <laughs>